What is up guys? Welcome back to Fishing with Norby. Today, I'm covering something you guys have been wanting to know about for a long time. Lots of questions coming in. How do you set up your live scope graph? So I got my cornfield fishing gear mount right here and my 12 inch live scope unit is lifted up off my deck. I'm gonna cover how to set it up to see clearly what live scope settings you need to have for bass fishing. Uh, you guys always see me glancing down at it when I'm out here bass fishing, especially out offshore on these ledges like this. And we're fishing a school right now, and there's a few bass roaming. They're tucked tight to the bottom, and I'm watching them on live scope. And I'm casting the jig down there to them, and I'm just gonna show you what settings I use to, oh, shoot. Yep. There he is. <laughs> we're hooked Ooh. up, guys, on the intro. Yes. Oh, he feels good, too. Gosh, that's a good one, Caleb. Yeah, that net yeah, handy. Net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not boat flipping this one. Oh my gosh. Oh, what's a tip? Oh yes, dude. <laughs> Caleb's got the net and the camera, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that. That's a five. That's a five pounder, man. That's so nice. cool. Look at that. It's got like red spots on his tail check that out beautiful fish thank you man all right we're gonna throw him back just like that drag a jig through him what bass doesn't love a jig but let's jump into live scope settings uh, that's what you guys have been asking about so I'm gonna show you okay so we're, we're on the Garmin unit here click on live scope this is a GPS map 1222 and look how clear it is. We're at 70 feet. I typically keep my live scope set to uh, 60, 70, or 80 feet. Right now it's on 70. Twist this little knob and it goes out to 80. And it's super clear. So what you're looking for are little bumps along the bottom, little hard, hard spots, and those show up as bass. So to get your settings as clear to where you're able to see them, that's what you guys have been wanting to know. Um, we're going to go into the menu here. The gain, the gain's a big deal. We keep the gain between 55 and 65 percent. The, the higher you go with your gain, the more interference you have. 72, that's way too high. So I'm going to go down, take it till I can't really see it, but there's a tiny bit on the bottom. Just right there, 58 percent. That's where I want my gain. You're gonna have to adjust the gain throughout the day. Early in the morning, you want your gain lower, like 55%, 56% typically. And then as the sun comes up, you can turn your gain up a little higher. You just gotta play with it throughout the day. I adjust it daily, every time I'm out here on the water. And it'll help you see the fish clear. Next setting, we're gonna talk about, gonna get out of the gain here, our depth range. You want your depth range, I don't know, I keep it a couple, two, three feet above the bottom of the screen. So right now I'm at 14 feet. I'll, I'll keep my depth range in about 18, right there. That's where I want my depth range so I can see the most on, on this unit. Okay, next setting, uh, we're gonna go into sonar setup. And there's three settings in here you need to adjust uh, here and there. I, I, I don't adjust them too much because I, I like where I have them set, but if uh, different clarity lakes you can adjust them a little bit and the noise will show up a little different. Um, so noise rejection is the first one. I have that set on medium. If you set it on low, there's a lot more uh, noise that shows up. So I have that set on medium. If you have it set on high, it almost makes your unit lag. And we're going to go down to ghost rejection. I have that set on high. If you have that off, you're going to see a uh, just kind of a, a ghost on your screen up at the top or down here. It'll be a lot harder. So we're going to go ahead and turn that back from low to high. And then see how it disappeared. And then your third setting, TVG, I have that set on high. Sometimes I turn it down if my screen's super clear. Uh, it allows you to see it a little better, but if you're getting too much feedback, put that TVG on high and it eliminates some more interference. So that's how I have my settings set up for bass fishing. Noise rejection medium, ghost rejection high, TVG high. And 
Keep your gain between 55, 65%. Match the depth of the water you're fishing to, uh, yeah, on your screen. Just match it. You know, go a little bit deeper. You always want to be able to see the bottom on live scope, unless maybe you're fishing a super clear lake like, like Table Rock or Smith Lake, and you're sitting in 100 foot fishing suspended bass in 40 foot. You want to be able to see below where the fish are. So that's my live scope settings you guys have been asking for it for a long time and it took me a while to make this video so i hope you enjoyed and we're gonna keep it super simple super quick god bless you make sure you subscribe for more videos i'm gonna put out more tip videos more videos catching bass what they look like on live scope like that one we just caught and be on the lookout for that but those were my settings so god bless you we're gonna get out of here we'll catch you next time here on fishing with norby